Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to understand about screw jack and its equations. So students, here, this is the general diagram of the screw jack. Okay, here as you can see, this is the nut portion and here this is the screw. Having here, we have considered in this diagram, the square threaded rod. Okay, that is, it is a square threaded screw. Okay, and this is the head of the screw and this is the lever as you can see here and here this is the length of the lever. Okay, and on this screw jack, the effort, the load will be applied on the top as you can see here, here will be any object which has weight W. Okay, to raise the load, we will apply some effort on this lever which will we will denote as p okay and the main function of the screw jack is to raise the heavy load with the application of the small effort on the lever in this case the effort will be p okay and here as you can see this is the pitch of the screw thread as you can see here from this point to the this point this is the pitch this is the small p for p pitch and for effort we will consider the capital p okay and here these are the diam diameters of the screw okay screw thread you can call it as so this is the general screw jack diagram okay so See here, students, if one complete turn of screw threads of this screw jack is imagined to be unwound from the screw jack and developed, it will form an inclined plane as you can see here in this diagram. Okay, so students here seeing this alpha, this angle alpha is helix angle which is related to the screw threads. Okay. Further, here this is the small p, this is the pitch of this screw thread as you can see here in this diagram and this pi d is the circumference of the screw thread considering d as the mean diameter, okay, as you can see here this one, okay. So further seeing here as this is the right angled triangle and when tan so here c angle alpha is here that is helix angle tan alpha we will calculate here tan alpha is given by tan alpha is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side so here tan alpha is equal to p small p that is pitch upon pi d okay so here c alpha is equal to helix angle p is the pitch of the thread and d is the main diameter of the screw as i have told you so here tan alpha is equal to p upon pi d this will we will get from this geometry of this figure okay further see for raising the load effort p which we will require to apply on the lever to raise the load having weight w is equal to that is p is equal to w tan into bracket alpha plus phi okay so here w is the weight of the body and tan alpha is alpha is the helix angle and this phi is the angle of friction which is the screw uh, this this is the friction friction problem this is the friction between the screw and the nut uh, okay this angle uh, angle of friction is related to that so here for raising the load p is equal to that is capital p that is effort is equal to w tan alpha plus phi and for lowering the load p effort p is equal to w tan alpha minus phi that is here angle of helix minus angle of friction okay further see here when the friction is neglected then phi is equal to zero in that case p o that here capital p o is effort required by without considering the 
friction that, that that is neglecting effort required by neglecting the friction is equal to w tan alpha that is this is because phi will be in this case when we consider the effort is zero that is effort is neglected then phi is equal to zero so this both equations will become po is equal to w tan alpha okay for further here seeing the efficiency of the screw jack is given by efficiency eta is equal to effort required for raising the load without considering friction or by neglecting friction upon effort required for raising the load by considering friction so here eta that is efficiency of the screw jack is equal to po upon p okay which is equal to w tan alpha upon w tan alpha plus phi so this is equal to ww will get cancel out so tan alpha upon tan alpha plus phi this is the equation for the efficiency of a screw jack so further here see the efficiency of the screw jack is maximum when helix angle alpha is equal to 45 degree minus phi upon 2 that is 45 degree minus here angle of friction divided by 2 okay so here then maximum efficiency is given by here eta max is equal to 1 minus sine phi upon 1 plus sine phi where phi is the angle of friction okay so students in this video we have understood about screw jack and its equations thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you